Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and iPad OS is out and I want to compare it to iOS 12 to see what visual differences there are. So let's go ahead and go through the OS and compare iPad OS to iOS 12. So I'm taking a look at the home screen, there is finally a slight difference in the grid system on iOS 13, which is what I'm just going to call iPad OS. There is now a six by five grid, which will allow 30 applications on the home screen, which is a 50% increase over the iOS 12, which was five by four. Now folders are going to be the same. So if we open this up, uh, you can see that it is the same amount of apps inside of the folder, but on the home screen, you do get 50% more applications. Now, additionally on iOS 13, you get this today view that you can pull over to the side. Not totally useful, doesn't really change anything because this is something you could still do on iOS 12, but now this just simply allows you uh, to have this on the home screen. So visually different, yes, kind of making you want to think that it is putting widgets on your home screen, but in reality, it's not overly practical compared to what it was before. So a visual difference, but not a game changer by any means. Now taking a look at something like notifications, they are going to be pretty much the same. Um, nothing has really changed drastically there. If we go into something like mail though, we do see some differences. So if I have this email open, you can see that before there were all of these icons up top for flagging it, for moving it, archiving, etc. Uh, now there are just those three icons up top and the reply button on the bottom has a lot more control. So if I hit reply on both of these, before it would just say reply forward and print, but now we have this share sheet with a lot more options. Uh, basically it just makes two steps, some of these previous functions up top, such as flagging it, uh, and then when we go into reply, it's definitely a little bit different. And we also have this new font manager and formatting, whereas before it was basically just bold, italics, and underline. We now have your font, uh, you have strike through, and you have some other features, which is definitely nice, including font size. So that is something that is brand new for mail and really nice. Additionally, uh, if you're replying to an email, so I bring this up, you can actually drag this reply into a side-by-side -side split screen, whereas before you could only bring it down in photos, I, I really don't like this. So before, if we go into photos, and before you had your albums view, which is actually still the same, but there was an all photos album, whereas now you do not have an all photos album. So if I go into this, I just get a chronological view of all my photos. So it's very easy to find my recent photos. Now, all of your photos, if you want them to be organized, are in the photos tab, which before the photos tab was something I didn't really use, but it was good for scrolling through um, and time and you get the time and description and location tags. Uh, and now this is still the same, but this is how you get all your photos. So you can choose between years, months, days, and all photos there. And you can also change it from the square aspect um, to the actual photo and you can select your photo still and then you can zoom in and out but I just don't like this because it's not as simple to just find your recent pictures because th the adjustment and scrolling is as annoying as you can see and I really do miss that all photos tab that was in photos but that is a slight redesign I'm not really sure why now of course I did show you that share sheet in mail being a little bit different so if I pull up a picture and I go to share you can see that looks very different now. We have uh, this grid system of both horizontal and vertical aspects. Looks more like Android than it did before on iOS 13. So as you scroll through, you can see those elements and AirDrop used to be more prominent. So it could be very quick and easy, which is something I also appreciated. But now AirDrop is kind of a, a two step approach. And you can see what that looks like there. Again, not a huge fan of this, but I probably will adjust to it eventually. Files does have a nice new feature. There's now one more view option. So before it was just the grid and the list options. Now you have the grid, the list, and then you have a tabbed view. So you can see what that looks like there. As I go back, um, you can see that there is the, the tabbed view. So as I scroll through um, folders, you can see that it will have this nice tab view. And that is a really nice view there. So the keyboard is also different. There is now a new uh, split keyboard that was not previously available to the iPad Pro. So I can actually undock this and make it floating. When I do that, it basically pulls up an iPhone 10 style keyboard that also has the swipe gestures. So that is something new on 
this iOS 13 and it brings the keyboard and it allows you to undock the keyboard on the iPad Pro. And then finally there's just dark mode. So dark mode is really, really nice uh, and looks great on the iPad. So if I go into appearance and I make it dark, you can see that it darkens the dock, it darkens the folders and I go into that, it's just much darker. Notifications are darkened. If I go into settings, it is darkened and you can see just in general what that looks like. If I pull up the recently viewed uh, apps, which has all of Apple's native apps, you can just see the differences in the light and dark and it looks really good. I'm a big fan of dark mode on the iPad. So functionally, not too much has changed with the visuals, uh, especially on the home screen. Again, this isn't a big change, but dark mode is clutch and there are a couple other cosmetic things such as in files that actually is very helpful. But for the most part, the visuals are fairly similar. We do have some some different fonts here and there in iOS 13 you can see some of the toggles such as in files it is more rounded where it is more squared off white and blue in iOS 12 this is black and white and rounder so anyway let me know what you think about the visuals on iOS 13 versus iOS 12 but thank you for watching